So what we want to do here first is they come from melling and from wherever you're getting your oil pump from uh, a little bit pre-lubed. Okay. But I like to take it a little bit further because if you can hear that, that oh, yeah, sounds very metal on metal -y. Still sounds dry. Yeah, so I always like to take a little squirts of oil and get it in here. Now eventually you want to really get this as full as you can, like especially if you're gonna be priming the engine with it in the car. Um, you don't have that great option of like really priming it ahead of time. So you wanna have as much oil in the pump before anything right. of that happens. So getting all the oil in here now is very beneficial for you. See, I lost that sound now. Now it's just oil. <laughs> yeah, it's nice and smooth. Now, there's no O-rings or anything so. between the block and the pump, is there? No, this is a machine surface to machine surface, okay. and they just want it that way. And uh, yeah, it's pretty nice and it's simple as that way. Straightforward as you can get. Exactly. So we're just lining up. What we're trying to do is here is these, this is keyed in a sense, right? Yeah. And this is as well. So okay. you're trying to find. There's no one specific point that will only work. Okay. You could so just line equal. them up. Yeah, they're all equally distanced. So it's snug there. And if you see, it's hard to see it, but there's a tiny bit of wiggle room here that I'm working with. Because mm -hmm. that oversized bolt holes there yeah. and this. And what we want to do is make sure that gear is pretty well concentric and centered okay. to that gear. Both gears are meshing up. To do that, sorry. We just wanna rotate the motor a little bit. And now the snug bolt, once it finds its kind of home, let's say, it'll, you know, stay in place. Oh, I see. And it'll actually center itself. And then you just torque it down. And then, yeah, I'm just going to gradually bring them in a little more. Okay. Now these get torqued to uh, 18 foot-pounds. Because we like to double check our work and know what we're doing. We're just going to put a little dot here to let us know that these are torqued to spec. Okay, so since we're going to run a um, standard pressure high volume on this application, what we're going to do is we're going to remove this plug here. And inside this void here is a spring, and that's what controls our uh, pressure relief valve. So currently, it always comes, for the milling high volume pumps, it will always come with the red spring installed in it already. So what we're gonna do is take that one out and install the blue spring. Now the blue spring is standard pressure, but still high volume. You can also have the option of doing this silver standard, you know, gray color spring, and that is the extra high pressure system. Um, we don't typically need that for this application. It's a pretty, you know, mild build, but uh, we're looking for a good volume pressure, but not necessarily high. So we want to keep with standard pressure pump. Go ahead and slide this new one in, just like that. 106 inch pounds. So we'll just go ahead and do that. There you go. Because we took this off, we want to make sure that we note that we did indeed torque it.